Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video on my channel. So we're standing here to my downhill bike for this season. This is the last bike that we were gonna show. Um, and eventually, if you saw the other videos, I won the, 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 the table football competition. So we showed the Strive first, but today it's time to show the Canyon Sender. You got the Canyon Sender, same colorway as the Strive that I'll be racing for this season. This version is uh, in size medium and it's a mullet as well. So we got a 29 wheel on the front, 27 and a half on the rear. Um, and um, I'm gonna run you guys through the whole setup. Um, so we're gonna start with the heart of the bike, work towards the front and then work towards the rear. So um, starting with basically the heart of the frame, the shock, we got the Erlins shock on that. Coil, of course, super good stuff. Um, tuned very nicely and really been working very um, tight with with, uh, with Erlins this year to get everything super dialed. So super stoked on that. Um, we got a reverse seat post on there as well as uh, this seat. Um, it's more of a free ride-ish seat um and um i'm gonna try this out for this season because it's a little bit shorter than the, the usual one the the four bill one that um most of the races are running um so that's up on up in between my legs um got my name on here pretty looking pretty cool and um, we got these cfr and decals on there so all in all frames looking super cool especially pops out very cool with the Erlins fork on there as well. So we got the DH3038 Model 1 on front. Super good fork as well. Um, raced this, the, this setup basically last year as well, other than the frame. So a um, bit of a background why I'm running smaller frame compared to the large is because um, I felt like the large was maybe a little bit too big for me. And since I'm only 174 centimeters tall, um, I'm going to raise the medium frame for this season. So we got it uh, currently in the middle position. You can um, set in the shorter or longer setting as well, making it five mil shorter or longer, um, as well as here in the back as well. You can um, swap these around. I'm not sure how much the difference will be, either five or 10 mil, I believe, but I'll, I'll insert that into the video. Working towards the front, um, we got the fast lane stem from reverse on here, 50 mil length, Nico Vink handlebars and 35 mil rise um, with a width of 770 or 760. I believe it's 770. Um, so a bit wider compared to the, the enduro setup um, because of course the, the impacts and the tracks are a bit wider and a bit faster so you need a bit more you can come away with a bit of a wider handlebar um, working away down we got the mud hug on there um, trusty as always um, basically run this in all conditions as well so dry and wet I'm just basically too lazy to take it off and I think it looks pretty cool as well and uh, even ex actually with rocks and stuff, it kind of helps protect your frame and uh, just all in all, if there's any puddles on, on track. Um, and we got on the front a reverse Evo 10 wheel um, equipped with 203 millimeter rotors from reverse. So same discs for both the Enduro as the downhill setup as well as the tires, so we got Schwalbe Magic Mary tires, ultra soft um, with downhill casing. So basically tires wise and wheels wise, um, same setup for Enduro as downhill. So that's basically everything covered for the front. Working away now to the back, we got this pretty neat looking mud guard over here to protect a bit from from dirt flying into your frame because of course you don't want to have any rocks getting in here and uh, damaging your stanchion or so on. 
Um, reverse bash guard and chain guide as well. Um, just to protect the sprocket really and make sure um, with any like forces, for example, from the rear um, to, to get the, the chain off of the chain ring. So pretty good stuff. 34 mil sprocket on the front combined with an O chain. So both of my Enduro and my Dyna bike have been running O chains all the time. I really think they, that those products are very good and um, just really eliminates a little bit of um, movements. Um, for example, on a big impact or something, something similar to that. So definitely worth the purchase if you ask me. We got Mallets DH pedals on here as well. Just sticking to them like always. Cheers guys for always hooking me up with pedals. Unfortunately, we got one of the old pedals on here because I haven't received a new package yet with pedals. So a little bit of used stuff on here, but that's basically that Schwalbe stick on the back. Cheers guys for always hooking me up with fresh tires. Um, working our way down to the rear. We got a EFS seven speed hub on here from Reverse, equipped with 203 mil rotor as well. Um, it's, it's equipped with these little ventilation uh, thingies, which actually work very well. I've been running like very long and uh, draggy trails in Morzine and so on. And actually these things have been running super good. I even try like other brands 220 ones and these 203 mil rotors actually were heating up less than the these ones which actually is quite surprising so Schwabi tie on the back as well we got a tacky chan on there um, so both on the front and the rear we got the same setup again tacky chan the rear it's a bit like a Magic Mary, but it's a bit easier to control the speed and control the grip. So, um, super good stuff. Um, pretty good sound on these hubs as well, actually. You can have a quick check. Sounds pretty good. So, um, I think we basically covered everything. For example, here you can see you can swap to a 29 wheel as well just to mention you do need a different back end if you want to swap it i had a lot of people asking me if you can do that you cannot do that you really need to have a different back end um and i think basically like this we have covered everything of the bike um so if you have any questions about any of um the setup behind me feel free to comment down below. Um, I'm super thankful for Canyon for supporting me. We have brand new frame and a different size as well. And uh, I'm super keen to get the season started. I haven't ridden this frame actually at all. It's basically came out of the box like this. Um, so I'll, take, I'll be taking you guys with me on the journey to get this bike set up to go racing um, at the World Cups. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching, and um, we'll see each other in the next video. Ciao, ciao.